Before we begin, let's talk about gadoteridol 279.3 mg per milliliter intravenous solution. This medication is used before a magnetic resonance imaging MRI, scan. It belongs to a class of drugs known as gadolinium-based contrast agents GBCAs. This medication helps the MRI scan make clearer images, so your doctor can more easily diagnose your condition. It is important to follow your doctor's instructions regarding the dosage and timing of this medication. Always consult with your healthcare provider for the best time to take this medication. Before starting gadoteridol 279.3 mg per milliliter intravenous solution, make sure to read the medication guide and patient information leaflet provided by your pharmacist. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask your healthcare professional. Gadoteridol 279.3 mg per milliliter intravenous solution is administered by injection into a vein by a healthcare provider. The injection should be given as directed by your doctor, and the dosage is based on your medical condition and weight. It's important to follow your doctor's instructions carefully to ensure you are receiving the correct dosage for your specific needs. Remember to discuss any concerns or questions with your healthcare professional. Some common side effects of gadoteridol 279.3 mg per milliliter intravenous solution include nausea, unpleasant taste, or headache. If these effects persist or worsen, consult your healthcare professional. It is important to remember that this medication has been prescribed to you because your doctor has determined that the benefits outweigh the potential side effects. Many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, it is crucial to inform your doctor immediately if you experience any serious side effects, such as changes in urine output, pain-slash-swelling-slash-redness at the injection site, or swelling of the ankle-slash-feet. Seek immediate medical attention if you notice any very serious side effects, including dark patches on the skin, hardening-slash-tightening of the skin, joint stiffness, hip-slash-rib pain, muscle weakness, or difficulty moving. While a severe allergic reaction to this drug is rare, it is important to seek medical help immediately if you experience symptoms such as rash, itching slash swelling, especially of the face slash tongue slash throat, severe dizziness, or difficulty breathing. This is not an exhaustive list of potential side effects. If you notice any other effects, contact your doctor or pharmacist for further guidance. This medication could potentially harm your kidneys, especially if you already have kidney issues, are elderly, or have high blood pressure or diabetes. It's important for your doctor to evaluate your kidney function before prescribing this medication. Be sure to consult the side effects section for more information. Before using gadoteridol 279.3 mg per milliliter intravenous solution, make sure to inform your healthcare professional if you are allergic to gadolinium-based contrast agents or if you have any other allergies. It is important to discuss any inactive ingredients in the medication that may cause allergic reactions or other problems. Additionally, inform your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history, especially if you have kidney disease, diabetes, or high blood pressure. It is important to note that gadolinium can stay in your body for months or years after receiving this medication, but studies have not found harmful effects if your kidneys are functioning normally. However, it is recommended to speak with your doctor for more details on this matter. Before undergoing surgery, ensure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you use, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. If you are pregnant, this medication should only be used when clearly needed. It is essential to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor before use. Furthermore, this medication may pass into breast milk, but it is unlikely to harm a nursing infant. Consult your doctor before breastfeeding. It's important to be aware that gadoteridol 279.3 mg per milliliter intravenous solution may interact with other medications, which could affect how well your medications work or increase your risk for serious side effects. This is not a complete list of all the possible drug interactions, so it's crucial to keep a record of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share this information with your doctor and pharmacist. It's also important to not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Always consult with your healthcare provider before making any changes to your medication regimen.
If someone takes too much gadoteridol 279.3 mg per milliliter intravenous solution and experiences severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, they should immediately call 911. Otherwise, they can contact a poison control center. In the U.S., residents can reach their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, while Canadian residents can call a provincial poison control center for assistance. It is important not to share this medication with others. Before using this medication, you may need to undergo lab and or medical tests, such as checking your kidney function. Make sure to attend all scheduled medical and lab appointments. For more details, consult your doctor. This medication is administered as a single dose before undergoing any imaging tests. This medication is typically used for imaging procedures such as MRI scans to help improve the quality of the images. It is given through a vein in a hospital or clinic setting and will not be stored at home. The dosage and timing of administration will be determined by your healthcare provider based on your specific imaging needs. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.